All right, everybody, welcome back to Rarest Photos. We uh, are gonna read some My Army Days with Elvis. It's been a while since we read some uh, Johnny Lang, and these are great, funny stories. Uh, just a reminder, I did release a new uh, reading of Are You Lonesome Tonight? Uh, the untold story of Elvis Presley's one true love and the child he never knew, uh, Lucy DeBarbin and, and Daria Matera. Um, and there's, uh, there's Desiree back there. And, uh, you know, before we get into My Army Days with Elvis, just a couple little pictures from here that, uh, that are interesting. So, one of them would be the birth certificate. We'll show that more. I'm going to show that more in length on the next reading of Are You Lonesome Tonight? But, uh, you can see Presley there. She put down Presley. Made up a different, uh, fake, uh, well, there's Desiree Presley, but then a fake first name for Randolph Presley. And, uh... Civil engineer, Tinker Air Force Base, Shawnee, Oklahoma. No such man, no such thing. Um, so, she had made that up and put on the birth certificate just so she could put the Presley name on. And of course, there is uh, Desiree down there in the bottom. And then there is a, uh, a card here. Um, now, there's a poem that goes with the card. Well, not that it goes with the card, but there's a poem Elvis wrote that has been authenticated by the FBI and the world's uh, uh, top handwriting expert, as Elvis's. So anyways, um, we'll keep reading that book, but we, I wanted to give uh, Johnny Lang, and I hope to hear from Johnny Lang soon. I need to call him. Uh, I was given his number. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to call him. All right, just keep scroll on through this and keep... Uh, so good and faithful for well, Crazy Rich. So that's about, uh, just, so that's where we left off. Good and faithful friends. Lamar Fike and I were pretty good friends. They picked on him all the time. Elvis teased him a bit because he was overweight. As I said, we all got our chops busted by Elvis and each other. But Lamar, he was a straight shooter. I didn't know him other than being, our, other than being together on weekends since I wasn't there during the weekdays. Outside of that, I didn't know these guys on a deeper level. I just knew them from every weekend visiting when I go see Elvis. I inv invited Red West one time. Let's go. I'll buy you a beer. He said, I don't have any money. I said, I got a couple bucks. He said, I'm not going. I figured it was because Elvis paid for everything if they went out. I got the impression that his friends had limited cash. But I will say this, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. People often ask me, what do you think of those guys? And why do you think those guys stayed with Elvis? Well, because from what I read, they didn't make any money. They had families, they had kids. I think they stayed with him because they loved him. Even in the last years of life, when they took a beating because of Elvis's addiction, I've got nothing but respect for those guys because they truly loved him. Uh, their, their family life suffered because they stayed with him. I'll always respect those guys. Lamar, Charlie, Red, all of them. It must have been hard on them. That's why they stayed with him. I'm sure as, it sure as hell wasn't the actual money. Red was a great friend to Elvis. Red loved him. Elvis met him when he was 17. They met while attending Humes High School in Memphis together. In high school, Red saved him from a rear, rear end beating. He was one guy he didn't mess with. I told my son years later when we saw the classic movie Roadhouse, Red should have played the bouncer instead of Patrick Swayze. Now, of course, this is this is um this is Johnny's opinion of the of the Memphis Mafia before they moved to Memphis. He didn't really have much interaction with them after that. And, um, and it's true. They didn't really get much money and all that stuff probably over there, but everything was paid for. Uh, all the good times were paid for. That being said, they did get houses. They did get cars. They, they did get jewelries. They got all those things, motorcycles. So they were well taken care of. And I think in the end, I think they stayed longer than they would have if, if, if Elvis wasn't giving them all those gifts. Um, you know, they didn't want or need for anything. So I'm just going to say that, you know, this is, this is Johnny's opinion. From, from what he knew, and what he knew was true. So don't get, don't go too hard on him for those that don't like the Memphis Mafia. Chapter 24, Over the Top. As I mentioned earlier, I began my career as a steel worker at J&L Steel in Warren, Michigan in 56. It was at that plant I started developing a reputation for arm wrestling. When I got into the service, I continued these competitions occasionally. One time I challenged Elvis to an arm wrestling match, and he said, no, go ask Wes Daniels. So I was never able to arm wrestle Elvis. I did up arm wrestling uh, Wes after a battle. It pains me to say that he won. I did have a pretty good record, though. Over the top. That was like that Sylvester Stallone movie. 
All right, chapter 25. Sentimental giving. On New Year's 1959, Elvis, the guys, and I were walking by the PX in Germany, which is called the Post Exchange. It's a place to stop. And Elvis goes by the window and he sees a leather wristband. It was big and black and cost about two bucks. He said, uh, geez, that's heavy, nice. As we're standing there, looking through the window, and I said, yeah, well, why don't you buy it? Well, I, I don't have any money. I said, okay. So he starts walking away from me. Then he walks ahead of me. So I ducked into the PX and bought the black band. It cost me two bucks. When we got back to the barracks, I said, hey, El, I got something for you. And my God, his face lit up like a Christmas tree. You'd think I'd given him 10 million, 10 million bucks. He said, oh, thanks, Johnny. I said, it's all right, you're, you're gonna owe me. And I smiled, but the guy went nuts over a $2 band. That's how he was. Chapter 26, more giving. Elvis gave me a Ronson lighter at Christmas 1959. I've never used it, but I kept it for a souvenir. One of the things I remember most was the immediate thrill that he got from the expressions or reactions on people's faces when he would give them something. He absolutely loved giving gifts. I read that through the years that his gift giving would become more lavish and more spontaneous. Well, that didn't surprise me. And of course, we hear that all the time from Elvis and Kathy. Elvis was definitely a very generous soul. The Big Brawl. Well, I'm sitting at a bar and the place is full of Germans. It was called Beck's. Red and some of the other guys in the gang used to go there too. Well, I ordered one of those big German beers uh, it didn't take much for me to get to feeling good. I took a good swig and I was feeling sorry for myself because I hadn't seen my parents in a while. And then I heard three Germans talking in English. They were big, all over six foot tall, three of them. And the biggest one who was next to me was about six two. Well, he was speaking English and I heard him say, You know, all these guys come over from America and they think they're tough. They mess with our women and we don't need that kind of company in this country. I finished my beer and I told the bartender, I'll have another one. Well, he brought me another beer. I drank about half that down, and the big German guy was still talking, bad mouth and American. So I finished that second beer, and then I was feeling good. Also, I was in terrible pain from an ab abscess tooth. Besides, I didn't want to go to the dentist because it was Christmas time. I could have gone to the army dentist, but I didn't want to go until after Christmas. Well, I touched the loudest bad mother in the mouther in the group gently on the shoulder and said, Excuse me, sir. I just want to say, if it wasn't for you effing Germans, I wouldn't be here in the first place. And I don't appreciate your attitude towards Americans. Then, pow. Never saw it coming. That SOB hit me right before I knew it was happening. He hit me in the abscess tooth. I went flying. I got up to engage, and then, boom, he hit me again. Now I was down on the ground, and he kicked me in the ribs, cracking three of them. What saved my behind, luckily, was some MPs were patrolling the area and happened to stop in. Well, they grabbed me, scolded me for the situation, and that was that. The bad news for me was I spent five days in a hospital, and they took away my stripe. I had just made corporal the week prior to this fight. Now my face looked like a truck hit it. When I, when I got out, I went to see Elvis. He said, I heard about your, your incident. That's terrible. Well, can you send Red with me to find this guy so we can kick his behind? Elvis said, I'm not doing that, Johnny. I got enough problems without getting involved in yours, too. So when I got out of the hospital, I had to see the company commander. He said, I understand you had a fight. I just said, yes, sir. He asked, when did you make corporal? I said, last week. We're going to demote you, Lang. It wasn't my fault. Well, I don't care whose fault it was, Private. When you're in this country, you're a guest of the German people. Therefore, you're going to lose your stripe. I said, yes, sir. Elvis went in as a private, and he came out as a sergeant. I guess it's all who you know, brother. At least that's what I tell myself. Oh, I went in as a private, came out as a private. Elvis went in as a private, and he came out as a sergeant. Well, that's the reason why right there, Johnny. I think you know that. It's funny for the book. I guess it's all who you know, brother. At least that's what I tell myself. Obviously, Elvis uh, Elvis did a lot of stuff. And, and, you know, Johnny served his time admirably, obviously, you know, and in and, and, and sacrifice for the country. Uh, yeah, Elvis had a huge career, and he he gave up a lot more than most people to go in the military. And, it, and from everything I've heard and read, he, um, he did it with respect. And oh, look at this. I'm just looking at a card here that uh, has Elvis in there army there he did it with respect for everybody um he never acted like he was bigger than anybody else he pulled kp duty he did all that stuff went in the field did all his maneuvers 
Uh, he was very serious about keeping his, you know, his uniform clean and the barracks clean when he when he happened to stay there. Maybe not, maybe before he got his house and making sure his vehicle was in tip top shape. And those are the kind of things that get you promoted. Um, now, did it help that he was Elvis? Possibly, but it's not unusual for somebody to to go from private to corporal. Uh, and I think it's. Corporal First Class, and I think Sergeant after that. I mean, let me take a look at the rankings here. Um, that being said, I believe Elvis uh, deserved his promotions. Um, oh, let's see, Ar ranking in the Army. All right, they are as follows. All right, we have, what is the order of rank, sorry. All right, looking at a bunch of big ones here. See, I can see them all right here. All right, so we got Private, we got Private First Class, Specialist, Corporal, and Sergeant. So, looks like Johnny got promoted from Private to Private First Class, I guess. Got it taken away, went back to Private. Elvis went from Private to Private First Class, to Specialist, to Corporal, and then to Sergeant. Then you got a bunch of other rankings up here. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Johnny, I always enjoy reading your book there. So, TCB to you, Johnny. Uh, TLC, everybody else out there in TCB, this is Rabbit's Photos. Make sure you tune into the other videos I got out today. I did the episode of Are You Lonesome Tonight? Do another reaction video. And um, yeah, and there's an interview of Nancy Pease. You gotta watch it. It's a great interview. She talks about Elvis, talks about Gary Pepper, who Elvis loved dearly. And, and she'll tell you a story about how, she took, how Elvis took care of him um, all of his life. Um, so, all right, until next time, Rabbit's Photos.